So, come on, everybody, follow the tour guide. We're walking to the markets here in Stone Town. And my brother, what's the name of this market again? Here you go, family. Yes, Sammy. And they talk about it. So who's starving, family? We got food everywhere in Africa. Avocado. Every country I've ever been to, man, all I see is nothing but food. So family, don't believe the foolishness, don't believe the hype. Yeah. We talk about the African continent of farming society. Look at these pineapples, no joke. You know, for those who like some nice food with some nice good herbs and spice, you know, that's the market right here. Uh, Sharif. <laughs> uh, Want to make sure you can get you can get lost in this market. I, I remember I remember her group was split in half, man. Where we had to. Yes, I mean, so this, we're taking a short trip through the market. This market it's is a beautiful market, bro. But it's actually bigger than this, but we're li literally uh, taking a shortcut through the market. <laughs> and so now we're going to exit this point of the market. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make our way around the narrow streets. Uh, Sharif, Sharif. <laughs> We're about to lose some people. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I'm trying to keep my eye on her so she don't get lost. Cause once you get lost, it's hard to find you. This whole, this whole place is like a maze. Yeah, let's, let, I, I want to get you in front. Um, because uh, it's like a maze and we don't want anyone to get lost. So, It's one of the things that we have to work on in family in Africa is to get better drainage and better infrastructure system. Road bridges. <laughs> we the real. And we not doing this all touristy thing. We in the real. I'm loving every minute of the Where is Hey, uh, Sharif, uh, I know, I know, Sharif. <laughs> we got a sergeant the back on patrol. This is a military formation. <laughs> You said you think we walk fast? Walk like you. Oh yeah. No, no, no. By the time he gets to, by the time he gets, by the time he finishes the walk, he's gonna work up a perfect appetite. Everybody else, watch out! Yeah, these are the narrow streets. Family, when we need narrow, narrow. And if, and this is the made in China part of the market. Made, made in China. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of the magical things that you know. Natural sponge. Natural sponge. <laughs> I've done many videos of your family and it's just always amazing the whole stone city
Yes. Arabic? What? Yeah. 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 So this is how the, the door looks like in Zanzibar. We have so many doors, but historically we have two doors. We have uh, Indian doors as well as Arab doors. And this is typical Arab door because all Arab doors are square. Some of them on the top of the wall you can see Arab script. So the Arab script is only used for protection. But both Indian and Arab just got uh, a necklace, I mean chain around, both around the door. So this uh, chain was only used for business and also to show the Zanzibar traditional uh, style. But most of the Arab door in the middle frame, on top you can see this sign, as well as at the bottom. So this is a sign, it's a fish symbol, it's a sign of uh, like a scale. It's a sign of uh, regeneration and also it's a sign of, for the fertility of the women to get uh, many, many children. Yeah. It's a fertility sign. It's a fertility sign, yeah. yeah. For the women to get many, many children. Yeah, yeah. And also, both Indian and Arab has got these uh, spikes. So, these spikes was only used against the war elephant in India. And this is because in the 18th century in India, had a lot of elephants. So, they used to break the door and then they get inside. So, some people were died and some are injured. Yeah. To avoid that, they put these spikes. Uh, spikes. Mm -hmm. But these spikes also is not original. The original one it's where they used in India was quite long and quite close. Yeah. In Zanzibar only came as a uh, decoration. Right. And also to indicate who is living inside. If you pass by the house, you can find this huge and beautiful doors. It means people who live in these houses or in those houses are well off. Because oh. poverty people can yeah, close these doors. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very, very uh, expensive door. But always, uh, all doors the wood that used to be the, the, the wood used are teak wood. So since 18th century Arab used this uh, door. Yeah. But uh, also, always, when you come to visit, you have to take out this pet lock, yeah. then you knock out, and people <laughs> who had, inside they come and open the door, or they can use uh, yeah, right. this one. But, but nowadays, good. they just leave this uh, process. So instead, they use this uh, modern one, electric uh, uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So they left manual, and then they use this uh, mm. original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, original one. Yeah, yeah. So this is a typical uh, Arab door. Uh, some houses have got a beautiful uh, balcony. Where? A balcony. Oh, okay. Okay. What, is, what is this here? This is uh, there's a uh, four well. Or to get to the connect them for what? Should be a lot of one. This, this town was built by Arabs during the time in the 18th century, and uh, soon after the 1964 revolution in Zanzibar, all houses have been taken by the government. And now there's people who live in those houses, normally they pay the rent to the government. And the government is responsible for so all houses, but all those people they pay the rent, but no renovation, no restoration. And that's why some of the houses are falling down. But also in 2000, Stone Town has been announced by UNESCO as a world heritage site. So it's protected in 2000. But still UNESCO are feeling angry with the situation going on here. And that's why most of the building in Stone Town has already been sold by the government and used as a hotel. And that's why if you buy, if you sell the building, then the, the, the people who come to buy those buildings, so they change the shape. And that's why UNESCO are feeling angry with the situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's so many hotels so in Stone Town. Uh, there you go, gentrification. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the word of the, the, this 21st century. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's called, uh, Even over segregation. here. There you go. They, they break it down. There you go. Teach, teach. You tell them the truth. Teach. You just change the names of all the stuff. <laughs> there you go, family. The there you go. Rebranding re the, the rebranding the oppression. So, family, uh, while you're walking around Stone Town, some of these are historical buildings that are collapsing, so we have to be mindful of walking and make sure that uh, we see any dangers, we warn each other. And this is another one of these incredible doors. And we have a whole lot more of Stone Town to share with you and the narrow street, Mani Dakari.